Hey guys, me and team here. Welcome to another Zergverse Protoss. And uh, this one's going to be a little bit interesting because this is a exact rematch. I just played this guy, Manho, in the previous game and killed him with a 6-pull. And he's not happy with me over it, I'm sure. And who would be happy over dying that way? So, uh, immediately the uh, instant I hit uh, match finding, right back to it. So, uh, this time I'm anticipating him doing a little bit better of a job against the 6-pull. And look at that, 8-gate. <laughs> I mean, not 8-gate. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. That would be like some proxy nonsense. No, but 8-pylon. Let's see if he gets a little bit earlier on the gateway. I bet he does. I bet he does. I really didn't want to chance another 6-pull with the opponent being biased towards believing it's coming. Maybe I could have done it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to gate really early in this. So, I kind of figured it would be out of the question. He went 9-gate. <laughs> I kind of figured it would be out of the question, so I didn't do it. I went, uh, well, I'm going, um, what's it, 15 gas, 14 pull. A much more standard Zerg opening. You'll see that opening from uh, Psy Starcraft and Idra. And it's really the, m the more favored Zerg opening that I'm doing in this game. Anyway, this is a demo game um, on how the Zerg, one of the ways the Zerg can approach stopping Protoss Void Rays. And that's if you uh, play one base Zerg, not two base Zerg. Because, uh, yes, I'll expand if I feel like I have map control or if I've hurt them but can't finish them off or whatever. But I really, uh, compared to most Zerg players, I'm very much a one base player. I don't. I just like uh, scouting out, being annoying in my opponent's base, figuring out what they're doing, and putting up a counter for it, or looking for a weakness I can attack. So anyway, uh, he's chrono boosting out a zealot, and look at the timing on this. This would be here before six pull arrived. He is ready this time, but it's not coming. I don't even have a pull yet. Now, fortunately for me, if he were to like try and take these zealots from there all the way up, that wouldn't work either. So he would have needed to proxy cheese me to uh, punish me instead for going 15 pull, 14 gas. And he didn't choose to do that. And uh, with my uh, annoying patrol drone, I will see the cyber core. It's really annoying to uh, get rid of these drones. Uh, you need to kind of like micro constantly around and then like head it off and attack it. And you have to first off realize it's patrolling, which I'm sure he does by now. Anyway, Cybernetics Core, and here he makes a bit of a misplay, in my opinion. He will place a Stargate, and I am going to see that. In the fact, that I am clicking on it. So I know exactly what he went right before he killed me. And, you know, what do you think when a Protoss gets a, a Stargate at, like, 18 supply? Well, I didn't know he was at 18 supply, but that early in the game. Well, you think Void Ray. So after that scout, see Stargate, drop a Baneling Nest right now. Rather than roaches, uh, if he would have gone more zealot heavy, I would have built a roach warren, probably teched up to a uh, lair, and uh, if he built like a bunch of stalkers, I guess I could speedling him to death, but yeah, most protoss don't do that against Zerg, I don't know. I mean, I guess if they see roaches, but they don't just usually mass stalkers in my experience. Anyway... He uh, is definitely going early Void Race, and I'm going to counter this with a good old-fashioned Bailing Bust, which you don't see as often in this particular matchup as you might in others. Uh, Zergling Bailing, very common in Zerg vs. Zerg, and also reasonably common in uh, Zerg vs. Terran to get through their wall off if they're teching uh, too hard and you want to punish them. So I'm going to bring up a bunch of Banelings, bring in some reinforcements, and uh, he's going to be chrono-boosting out that Void Ray. The, the, and the timing here is very precise. It's not easy to counter a uh, perfectly walled off uh, Void Ray, and if you get caught off guard, you're kind of screwed. Another thing I'm going to do here is train a second queen, and uh, once I see the Void Ray, I'll also throw down an Evolution Chamber. Oh, we shouldn't miss that. Okay, like, uh, like I was saying, I'll speed this up. I'll build a second queen, throw down an evolution chamber, and a couple spores, and that should really be enough to annoy the, uh, the void ray away. So in come the banelings, and we're going for this pylon. Boom, boom. The zealot gets a little too close. A couple more explosions. The zealots are badly damaged, and oh, there goes his void ray. 
But there's a problem here. This Void Ray is uh, not going to be able to kill a bunch of links fast enough. And they can run out of his charge range. So now I'm in his base killing his dudes. And their speed links too. I was sure to get that upgrade. So I decided to uh, work over the probes quite a bit here. Uh, kind of some shoddy micro on my part. But even so, I mean, the the bulk of his probes are gone. And this is really crippling. I mean, yeah, he's ahead in terms of the tech game. But he has nothing, and that's going to be huge. So this is one of my favorite ways to counter a Protoss who thinks they can fast Void Ray on the Zerg. And this is something I've seen on the forums a lot lately, is uh, struggling with Void Rays. So I figured I'd post this, and this isn't the only way you could deal with them. Hydralisks own them pretty easily if you can get there. And uh, you know, Mutas do better too, although you have to watch out for this kind of stuff. So anyway, I backed off to uh, deplete the Void Ray charge, and uh, now I'm running back in. And he just can't get that charge with all his speed links charging through. I'll run the probes away. I'll take some pot shots on them. I'll even kill one. Maybe I kill all of them. Yeah, I do. I gotta surround and kill all of them. And now, look, we get a focus fire right on the Nexus. And yeah, the Void Ray's gonna build up its charge here. I don't care. He's got, like, what? I knew he didn't have a lot of minerals because he's training probes to get back. So I kill his Nexus, and now I'm just going to peace out, because he can't do anything. And that's, uh, you know, if he can't kill me with his one Void Ray and a Phoenix, then uh, it's pretty much good game, because he cannot train any more units of significance. So, you know, realizing that's the case, he's coming after me. But, yeah, I've already got Spore Crawlers up here, and I kind of saw the Void Rays coming a little too easily. So he's going to take out an Overlord. And I'm going to respond by uh, pulling my throw overlord into my spore colonies. Yeah, nothing really amazing here. Second queen, so I can transfusion if one of them's damaged. And, you know, seeing the void ray, I'm like, whatever, the zerglings are useless. I'm just going to run him into his base right now. Well, I'll attack move at his base. There we go. Transfusion the queen. I guess the phoenix didn't notice the spore. And then the queens are just going to beat on the void ray for a uh, good game. He has nothing. So, you know, it's just a matter of circling cleanup now, and uh, he leaves without even the GG. And I probably would have had one from him if I didn't six pull him in the previous game. But what can you do? So, anyway, when the Protoss go speed Void Rays, this is yet another option in the Zerg's uh, choices that will actually handle Void Rays pretty well, but you have to time it right. You have to see Void Rays, drop a Baneling Nest right away after you're scouting, and, uh, then once, uh, you know, preferably a little bit before the Void Ray comes out, or like right as it's coming out, a Baneling bus kill all his units and get in his base, and that really uh, screws up what they can do. So uh, that'll be it for this tutorial video on owning the Void Rays. Uh, the main team signing off.